Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Sunnah Revival by Sheikh Mu'iz Bukhari Sunan of Fridays Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari recording for the Daily Reminder Network. Inshallah ta'ala, for today's episode, we will be touching on a list of amazing sunan. Sunan, which is the plural of sunnah, of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Some of which are obligatory and some of which are highly recommended. And these sunan are in regard to the best day of the week, which is Friday in accordance with the words of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he is reported to have said خَيْرُ يَوْمٍ طَلَعَتْ عَلَيْهِ الشَّمْسُ يَوْمُ الْجُمْعَ فِيهِ خُلِقَ آدَمْ وَفِيهِ أُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةِ وَفِيهِ أُخْرِجَ مِنْهَا He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said that the best day upon which the sun has risen is Friday. It was on Friday that Adam alayhi salatu wa salam was created. And it was on Friday that Adam alayhi salatu wasalam was granted entry into Jannah. And it was also on Friday that Adam alayhi salatu wasalam was taken out of Jannah. And this particular narration is recorded in the book of Imam Muslim. Number one on the list is to pray Fajr with the congregation. Is to pray Fajr prayer with the congregation on Fridays. For it is the best prayer a believer can pray during the week. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is reported to have said that the best prayer before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Fajr prayer on Fridays with the congregation. And this particular narration is recorded in the book of Imam al-Bayhaqi and it has been classed Sahih by Imam al-Albani rahimahullah. Moving on to the next action item, it is to take a bath, perfume oneself and don the best garments an individual owns. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is reported to have said, غُسْلُ يَوْمِ الْجُمْعَةِ وَاجِبٌ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ مُحْتَلِمٌ That taking a bath on Fridays is compulsory upon every male believer who has come of age. And this particular narration is recorded in the book of Imam al-Bukhari, rahimahullah. The next two action items are to read Surah Al-Kahf, which is the 18th chapter of the Noble Qur'an on Fridays. For the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said that whoever reads Surah Al-Kahf on Friday, he will be illuminated with light between the two Fridays. Allahu Akbar. And also to set out early and to go to the masjid for the Friday prayer, walking if the masjid is close by to one's residence. For the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said along the lines of these words in regard to the individual who takes a bath, sets out early and goes and sits close to the Imam and listens to the sermon quietly and attentively. For every single step he takes, he will be rewarded the reward of fasting during the day and staying up the night in prayer for one whole year. Just amazing. For one whole year. And this particular narration is recorded in the book of Imam Al-Tirmidhi. It has been class Sahih by Imam Al-Albani rahimahullah. Next in line is Salatul Jum'ah, the Friday prayer, which is obligatory upon every single male believer. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was once on the pulpit and he is reported to have said, let the people stop neglecting Jum'ah, the Friday prayer. For if they do, Allah will place a seal upon their hearts and then they will become from those who are neglectful. And this particular narration is recorded in the book of Imam Muslim, Rahimahullah. My beloved Shaykh Imam Ibn Al-Qayyim, Rahimahullah, is reported to have said that the Friday prayer is one of the most important obligations in Islam and one of the greatest gatherings of the Muslims. Gathering on Friday is more important and more obligatory than any other gathering except for the gathering of the day of Arafah. And whoever neglects it, Allah will place a seal upon his heart. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us all. The final two action items that I have to share with you all are 
to send excessive blessings and salutations upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, as well as to make excessive dua during this blessed and virtuous day. For the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is reported to have said that there is a certain span of time on Friday and if a Muslim's dua were to coincide with that specific time, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely answer his dua. And this particular narration is recorded in the book of Imam Bukhari and Imam Muslim rahimahumullah. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, let us all firmly intend to revive these amazing sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, thereby securing the pleasure of our maker as well as attaining amazing rewards. And please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire an amazing sunnah revival. And also, please don't hesitate to leave your comments below if you wish that we should touch on a particular sunnah. جزاكم الله خير وآخر دعوايا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين. Support the Dawa. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org/slash/donate.